Hello, here we're trying to put up a ground rod connector on a six gauge wire going into a ground rod that we've already put into the ground. This is an Erico CAD weld ceramic. The wire's in place into the side of the ceramic insulator. We're going to push it in so that the wire is seated on top of the ground rod. We're going to put the charge in place. We're going to put a cap and we're going to plug in the igniter. There's a little ant that's going to not last right there. So we have it pushed down in place. Wire in and out of the way. Mark's going to step out of the side, push the igniter. We should get two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14. This video shows it, but there's some molten material on the bottom that is hotter than Hades. They say 30 seconds later you can go in and take it apart. I don't know if I'm going to count to 30 seconds. We're going to let it, let it cool for a while. You can see the color going down. It's going to a duller orange. Okay, we have pliers. Okay, this is the second attempt, and we're stabilizing the ceramic cup so it does not move upon firing. So we're going to put the cup back in, put the wire on top of the ground rod that's in the ground, put the CAD weld plus piece in, stabilize it, and connect. connected and in place. We're gonna go push the button. We'll push the button. We should get about 15 seconds. Three, four, five. I don't see the little pool of stuff on the bottom. That's a good sign. It's better if we let it cool. I can see the little aluminum slide piece has pushed out a little bit. Disconnect the igniter. Ceramic, I guess, pulling back.
Oh, there's a little crack in the ceramic. That's probably what the noise we heard. Ground rod and cable are moving as well. There's the top of the weld in place instead of pushing out of the bottom. That looks like it did a better job. <laughs> 